gonna do it. I mean, like, you know, you know, I've thought about it. I've thought here. about it too much, and that's you know, that's what I do. I overthink it until the moment happens, and then I blank, and then I just go with whatever comes to mind. I feel like the whiskey and the coke in separate bottles. I guess yeah, I know it's whiskey until I said so. It's whiskey. I'll take a little swig. <laughs> do we need to Greek everything up here? To- <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jay Scoots. What? You have to you usually have to what? check a box to tell like we're not gonna anybody tell anybody. Is like, this, there's going no, to be it's content. Coca-Cola Coca-Cola. I think there's like a debauchery check mark. Um yeah. Well I didn't want to use a U. What you got? Oh I love that. I love that. God, we need that on like when we're recording. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. so, so I didn't know if you wanted transition time between panels. We got that. Oh, right. it's well, built in. If we do see a stream, these guys are uh, passionate. Feel free to you know, tag in. We'll go just for the stream. We'll just stop and meet. Get questions. Like, no. We got questions. <laughs> Sir, no questions. Yeah, oh, I used that for, for ghost that. hunting. Ghost hunting. Is yeah. that a thing not for ghost hunting? <laughs> it looks for evil. Zach Baggett. It's actually not her that it's finding, it's me. It's come right through it's me. Coming, yeah. Spreading. Little did you know. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody put a microphone in front of me and I kind of love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dream. Well, it's like one minute till we're supposed to start. I'm so happy to see you all for real. Thank you all for coming Seriously. out. Okay. Like, I'm gonna be looking. We really way. weren't sure if people from that, yeah. I thought maybe like some Dragon Con people would stumble in because it said MCU on it, but didn't know if listeners would be here. And it really means a lot. Thank you uh, yeah. for being here. Yeah. Is it? Can you hear me when it's there? No, you. Can. I mean, you can hear because we're not. just talking in the air, but it's not like in the microphone. Okay. You gotta just. But I don't scrunch down. Up, like does this thing. Hmm? Oh, you're gonna do the levels. Check check. Check hey, two three. This is about check how loud I'm going to be. Hello. Check, check. And then. Hey. No, no. Don't you, tell me what to do. Thing. Balance all of it. <laughs> and I know that you're right there and can hear me, but I'm probably going to yell at you. You're not going to yell at me. It's, it's going to be in a loving way. So, hey. like, there's going to be mixed signals, and I'm going to go ahead Kitty, and apologize now up. for that. Okay. I will not let you. Okay. Huh? Making enemies. I'm not making enemies. Like, this scary. is how I make yeah. friends, Ashley. Hey, hey, hey. Why do you think we're such good friends? <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this ginger ale's delicious. <laughs> ginger ale. Mountain Dew ginger ale. Uh, mountain well, mountain ale. Whenever we get the ginger Dew? No, that's also bad. We... We're Is good. We're good all to right. go. Cool. Have we been streaming all this chatter beforehand? Hopefully. Yes. Bring us yes. All right. Hey, Jeff, start Start us up, hey, baby. Man. Today on the Marvel Cinematic Universe podcast, we are live at Dragon Con. We are recording our 10th anniversary episode. We did promise. We did promise a thousand episodes and we did not get there. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We didn't make the thousand episodes. All that and more after this. (laughs) 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 Intro music. Done. It's so nice when everyone's in the same room to do that. We do that a lot of times on the recordings when we're like on Zoom and it never doesn't work because there's a delay. So everyone's just dying. It's it. just but chaos. I can't not do it, you know. We, yeah. we stopped putting it in about six years ago when the joke got tired, but we're not done with it. I don't stop. Um, <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. All right. Welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe Podcast. My name is Matthew Carroll. And I'm Jeff Randall. And I'm Ashley Coffin. Hey, hey guys. Uh, we're so excited we got some listeners in the room. We're going to try to take a few questions if anybody has any uh, in a little while. But we're going to first, uh, we're just going to go over kind of the past, present, future of the MCU, both the. Like the fates. Yeah. Weaving like, it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's sort like, of a, uh, a Kinsian tale, a ghost visiting us. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the, the giant uh, jolly guy? Me? Is it How you? are we off track already? <laughs> we're both. We're, we're both, both a giant, we're both jolly, a giant guy. jolly guy. Yeah, we're, that's we're true. all the past. That's true. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the past, the MCU. Like, 
it's been, you know, we talk about this stuff literally two days a week. And so we get very specific, but I, it's kind of fun at the 10 year mark to just sort of like look back at what a more general, general, like what is, what got you into the MCU? What's the thing or the movie or the like TV show or whatever? Uh, Ashley, you should kick us off. What, what got you into the MCU? Well, my Marvel history starts way earlier because I started, um, I wanted to hang out with the boys when I was in elementary school, you know, in part, and part. Yeah, and X-Men did. came out and I was reading comics and they had superhero females and I just wanted to be a part of it. And we would play on the, uh, those girls. These guys? And I mean, the girls are a little bit more powerful than the guys and always yeah, kind of, sure, it should be called sure. X-Women. But still, <laughs> you know, it really, like I was able to find a community. I started going to a local comic uh, store in the mall and made friends with everybody there. I had my pulls. And then when they finally, like X-Men came out the movie in 2000 and that was great. It was cool. It was so good to see everybody on film. But when Iron Man came out, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. I was beside myself. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is Iron everything Man. that I've ever wanted to see. And then it just kept coming. Like, it was Thor mm -hmm. and Captain America and Chris Evans. <laughs> 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 and, you know, they casted it well and everything was perfect. And it was just like I got to relive my childhood again through the movies. Yeah. And it was just beautiful. And I got so into it. And I didn't care what anybody said about it. But because if you're going to sit down with me at a bar or a dinner, we're talking about Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, led to us inviting you on the show. Uh, yeah, I bullied my way onto this show, oh, yeah. everybody. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Ashley. That's how she does things. And we appreciate it. Uh, if she had, had a very unique relationship. Yeah, yeah. First, she was our hair correspondent. I could tell the uh, future through the hair. So yeah, I yeah, the yeah, Black yeah. Widow. Black Widow's hair is this long. That the, the, the roots, the are, this roots long. are this long. Therefore, <laughs> it's been four months since she was in this movie. We're looking at trailers and she's like, <laughs> we're like in game time before lines. I was on the cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, is it, we're really happy uh, for you to find it and join us. Woo! They're also very happy. They're very happy. Next door, there's that was for me. <laughs> um, that was for Ashley Dancer. Uh, Jeff, what got you into the issue? What's the there thing? Were... I mean, Ashley kind of had a cop out because she just said like everything. Like, Sorry. The yeah, she was Come like on. all of it. What really sold you? Though? So I knew that I, I was witnessing something special when I first saw Iron Man. And then like I left the theater. I went across the street to Whataburger, got dinner and then went back to the theater and was like i have to see it again right now let me in and like i saw it two times the first night like it was the thursday preview and then that midnight and like when the when the music came on in that first scene that bah, da, da, and you see the the humvees and everything and i was i was back in it immediately i was like oh this is awesome yeah here we go let's do it again and then there was a second moment that like so that one like set the hook a little bit, but the one that reeled me in was at the end of Iron Man 2 when Phil Coulson's on the phone and he says, sir, we found it. And it pans oh, over to Mjolnir. Mm -hmm. I leapt out of my chair, <laughs> screaming, oh, yes! Mm. Like, I was so happy because they showed the hammer. Mm -hmm. They showed the hammer. They and then the, the world out. was introduced to Chris Hemsworth. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, I didn't, I did not know who Chris Hemsworth was. I was like, I was watching the shortlist and everything. I was like, please not Triple H. Please no, not oh, Triple no. H. I was like, please, please bring Vincent D'Onofrio back. Right. He was the only one you could bleach their eyebrows out. And everyone was like, yeah, that's okay. I was, I was a big fan of Alexander Skarsgård. Oh, I love him. Because of yeah. his, True uh, blood. yeah, his role in True Blood when you first see him and he's going to like, he's jacked in the, in the tank with that long. Blonde hair. I was like, "That's Thor." That's pretty good. That's yeah. Thor right there. No, but then yeah. and then the world was like, "Here's Chris Hemsworth," and we were all like, "Absolutely yes." yes. Except for you, you that were is like, our God you bleached his eyebrows. No, I was yeah. like, "I'm really into his brother." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "I like the brother." I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm yeah. Loki stan. <laughs> oh yeah, you just like the, the dark features, oh, and I mean like him. I mean like literal dark features <laughs> and like you know soul. The like paler the better. Dark soul. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think if Ashley were to either play or be a video game, it would be Dark Souls. Yeah, she embodies it, yes. Um, yeah, for me, it was, I, I love the whole thing. I'm right there with them. You know, Nick Fury saying the Avengers Initiative, like, clearly, like, just set us oh. on a new course. I grew up on Star Trek. I grew up on a, uh, on a contiguous continuity, uh, deep, a deep, hot, hot wet, wet continuity, continuity yep. um, that, like... <laughs> 
I, I love I love that sort of stuff. I love an episode 30 years later that references an episode that hasn't been referenced since. You know, I love that stuff. Um, and when he said Avengers Initiative, I was like, oh, do I love a connected thing? I yeah. love, and so I was excited from the beginning, like you guys. But I will say, as we, we talked about it this week, because uh, two weeks ago, I don't know. Guardians. Time, run, time runs together. But Guardians. Ten year anniversary. When we started this podcast ten years ago because of that movie, um, it it. It was a mo- it was just a moment for an expansion of the universe, and that's what sold me. Because, yeah, those four characters up till then, really just four characters, and they were all great. But it felt like it was the self-contained Avengers thing, and then Guardians made it just feel like the universe was endless. They you know? opened up the yeah. world. Really, really, really was an endless. Like, you like this possibility? You like this shot in New York, like the camera panning around them, and like all mm-hmm. of those guys on Earth. But there's something else. Yeah. It's not connected in any way, but it's also exciting. Yeah. So many people talk about like seeing themselves on film. And when I saw Rocket Raccoon, I was like, oh my God, that's me. I am a trash panda. I am a yeah. trash panda. <laughs> he talks like me. And then it was it was Bradley Cooper. And I'm like, Philly. He talks like yep. Philly. This is me. He talks I mean, like the entirety of Philly. You knew yep. you were a kind of panda before we called ourselves. I eat garbage. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese steak? Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. Whiz without. <laughs> <laughs> Philly girl. Philly girl. Um, through through. But yeah, and, and just the style. It wasn't just that it was expansive and in the universe and out there in space. That was a part of it. It was the music. Well, it was the style. It was, it was the dancing. Line. The style. Was James like, Gunn. Dance bum, off, bro. Bum, 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 the fact that they gave someone like James Gunn kind of carte blanche to do what he wanted to do and do something so different than the others. Because... The others had all had varying levels of uh, variance. That that was terrible. That's, no, that wasn't good. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> Boo, Come on, man. Boo. Uh. Boo. Say eat it. Um, <laughs> it fuels me. They've, they've they've all been very varying levels of that. But like, Guardians was so different, mm. so so different than everything else had had come before it, and just sort of broke the formula. So I and, and yes, the music was a big part of. It. So I, uh, yeah, that's that's my answer, I guess. Guardians is what, like, I mean, it's what we started this podcast. It became, it's, it went from being, oh, I like these movies. Oh, hey, there's a TV show, too, to being like, Oof. let's talk about this every week. Yep. Let's, like, Jeff, come to my house every Tuesday. Yep. Back before, like, oh, Zoom live was podcasts. Good. That doesn't yep. happen yeah. anymore, everybody. Just yeah, well, well, everything's States always now. over Zoom. It was that awkward, like, let's sit on the couch and figure out how to get this mic in front of me without me falling off the couch. There mm-hmm. is a difference with doing it. We've gotten to do a couple live podcasts together over the couple of years, and there yeah. is just an energy that comes to being in the same room with people together. Yeah. yeah, I really, I totally agree with you. And part of it is just like being together and being the love in the room, but also it's just the lack of delay. It's so important. <laughs> Zoom. I had to get a new computer. One, when I, was, two, I was a problem. Three, four. Uh, <laughs> three, four. <laughs> you know about it. He knows. Jay Sky St. Clair over there. He knows. Woo! About it. All right. Well, uh, what's a what's a standout moment thinking about the past of the of the universe, but also the show that we make that we make. What's a standout moment where you connected with listeners? <laughs> uh, yeah. How does that stand out in your mind? The connection with listeners, because that's been a huge part of the, the growth of the show and the people in this room. And I can't believe. Uh, yeah, it's, it's always weird to meet people who listen to the show in person. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird to see you guys in person. <laughs> it really it's is. Less people that like have known the show for years and stuff. It's it's, it's can, wild to me. I can touch you. Don't touch me. <laughs> don't. You can touch me. You can. But don't. We're gonna smush. <laughs> I really like being involved with this because I've had so many people reach out to me who really are like hearing a female voice in a yeah. mostly male dominant. It's not like that so much anymore. There's a lot of females. You trying to tell me that the comics? Nobody wants to hear you guys talk. Can you stop interrupting me? I'm a female talk. He's like male dominated. <laughs> Listen, we agree. Listen, we're not we're not interrupting you. We're agreeing with you. Female voices. This is are the important. voice of support. Female Ashley. voices are so important. What are you dealing with? Supporting her right now. I feel so supported. But I was dealing with it was especially when like when Wanda kind of came out like Multiverse mm. of Madness. A lot of people. I have such a horror background with me that when that movie came out, a lot of people were like, mm. oh, because some of everyone was like, oh, Wanda's doing bad things. I'm like, no, she's not. <laughs> no, no. You, kill the, <laughs> you kill those kids. I don't care. You know, you kill those kids to save your kids. But it was fun to see how many people reached out to me to be like, I, I see your point of views and it's important that you're doing this and saying this. And I love hearing oh. a female voice and it's pretty cool. The, the yeah. thirst. 
the thirst. Oh, oh I did start a lot of thirst stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Like that was I'm such kind of a, a constant thing. <laughs> like Ashley is all of our thirst. <laughs> I yeah. say things out loud that people only think, and that's kind of what <laughs> yeah. personality I mean, about it, me I that I love. Canceled, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My my standout moment though was uh, one that sparked a song that you wrote. Uh, oh. It's uh, it's when somebody. <laughs> <laughs> somebody commented. early early on like it was pretty early mon on. months and months into not, not it was long. like somebody went to a back episode <laughs> that was like probably six months old at the time where we were talking about the dr strange trailer and they commented on it saying this show would be so amazing if it if jeff weren't on it <laughs> listen and like if nobody's giving me. some bad, like if all the reviews are good, then we're doing something wrong. Yeah. Let, let me just remind you, I was the only one, other one with you at that point. So yeah. We were like, it was we like, just, just want, be mad. We just want one guy on this podcast. Speak <laughs> into the void. We hate, <laughs> we hate Jeff enough that we're fine with one guy talking in a yep. vacuum by himself. Yep. Yep. And like this guy laid into me, like left a freaking novel. But in there, he called me a steampunk douchebag. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's my, that's he my title. He cosplayed like, with steampunk now. Thor. And yeah. that yeah. was the, your profile picture at that time was your steampunk Thor. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it it's an award-winning costume. I'm kind of proud of it. Very great. <laughs> Dragon Con award-winning, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Steampunk yeah. Avengers. What year was that? Oh, God. That was like 2013, 2014. Wow. It's a great costume. It really is. And, uh, and he, so <laughs> someone asked thought it would be a good idea to write a parody song for that. And yeah. I later wrote a parody song to Teenage Dirtbag. It's so yep. perfect. It was Steampunk Douchebag. But it's so funny. We released the thing on Spotify, but it's like literally inside jokes from a podcast. Yeah. Such a specific, like, such a specific niche audience yep. <laughs> for this song. Yeah, and like uh, the same kind of thing happens whenever people see my water bottles and I've got the, uh, the Hail Hydrate logo mm -hmm. Hail on Hydrate. it. And like, you know, people look at it and they're like, is that, that's not Hydra. I'm like, well, okay. There's a story with that. <laughs> well, and that that ties into my answer to this question. Uh, what's your reactions? Is in 2020 uh, when the world turned the off, world turned off for when I joined the podcast and everything started yes. to matter. She joined the podcast and she was a harbinger of doom <laughs> on the world. She spoke her voice into the void, into the and into people the answered, <laughs> and and the and they answered. Uh, and COVID happened, and like. Uh, the world shut down and we didn't have a lot of social interaction um for um we didn't have a lot of social interaction a a anybody like you know we all we all we all do that and like there was a real rallying in our community and i don't know if you any of you guys got to partake in that but this granted panda facebook chat got really active and also we started doing wednesday night live streams where we'd have a lot of people show up trivia and, night yeah trivia, trivia night was a big deal was it was awesome. fun and it was not something we were recording and putting out or anything it was just hanging out we'd do zoom calls with just lots of people coming out and it was really uh for oh, a really dark time stranded really... Panda after dark. well then yeah. there was stranded panda after dark which <laughs> yes. is we can't talk about that right now yeah we, we promised <laughs> it's a little naughty it's kind of a fight club thing we promised to never talk about stranded panda after dark <laughs> past, past that but um it's yeah. nine o'clock we can talk about it after nine. Oh, oh is, that's the right that's right i forget that's like yeah we have the like old school weekend. cell phone rules on that yeah 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 uh, we had a uh, that's that's like we're talking about the past the MCU. We had a stream question, is that right? What's that stream question? Oh, Jay Scotty St. Clair, the stream the question. <laughs> Love your sexy shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> in our Twitch live stream, we had a couple of questions come through, and you guys touched on this a little bit in terms of standout podcast members, but Karen. Karen McThomas, a longtime listener, asks, what's your standout podcast moment in the past 10 years? What is your biggest hope for the MCU future? Ooh. Mm. We're going to talk about that MCU future in the future, uh, yeah. in the near future. In, thir in like 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so we'll come, we'll we circle are, back to that we're part. We're coming back, Karen. <laughs> what about Standout, standout podcast moments. Honestly, I really loved when we did Multiverse of Madness because we all dressed up. Oh yeah, on the stream, that and we great. all looked well. Not you, you yeah. were Lederhosen, that was fine. Yeah. But you had a <laughs> towel and like a, a dish rag, and it looked more like a Doctor Strange costume than half the ones I saw on here. Yeah. I was like, "You look amazing." I don't, I don't even remember. I literally don't remember what I did for that, but I did. I remember <laughs> having a blanket, having a towel around a my towel. neck. 
Yeah, you did the but it's, like, it's on YouTube. You if anybody wants thing. to see it. Yeah, that was a good time. That was a good time. I. This is ridiculous, but the one that pops to mind. There's a lot of really like. I is mean, it funny afternoon. Moments. Oh, that is a you could say you. Is you that know. me? That, oh god! No, 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 wait. I, that is a great podcast moment. That's like a podcast moment for the books, like not just our podcast. I'm but an like, idiot because it's not MCU specific. It's just one of my favorite moments. I don't even know what we're talking about, but we said it was 11:30. We said we're going to meet at 11:30, and she said, "Uh, I thought you said afternoon." Well, you no, know, like <laughs> I had said, I think we had said good morning, and and she was like, "Good afternoon," and I was like. It's like 11 30 there and she's like yeah it's the that, afternoon it's, it's afternoon right and what does afternoon mean we she's like, like what does afternoon afternoon mean? i didn't realize this was a roast okay <laughs> yeah, it was just us roasting actually that's that's really and you made a twitch thing out of it God, yeah yeah, yeah a little tiktok, a TikTok. um our TikTok first tiktok video. that was an early TikTok it was her first TikTok. yeah just insulting <laughs> me yeah. being an idiot and i hate to just like this feels really bad i'm just like making two two of my favorite moments just when Ladies Keep said going. stupid things on our Keep podcast. Uh, not this wasn't stupid. But, but women was, need to be supported, right? Matt? It was one of my favorite things. <laughs> right? Yes, we're talking. We're not talking over her. Um, right. We're supporting her. We're just talking about the times where she screwed. No, up. this is not Ashley. This was oh, one of my favorite moments. Woman. We were doing. We do a thing called um, fantasy heroes. Oh, God. where where we. Uh, yep. Uh, you, you, it's fantasy football, but for Marvel heroes, and there's a point system. And if they're mentioned, you get points, and like, so it's pretty if they great. Show up, you get more points. You if show they up, die, you, get you points, lose points. Die. And like, so one of the strategies is to pick characters that are really common to be in, be talked about. You know, big name characters that they're probably going to mention on all the shows and movies. Uh, Thor gets mentioned all the time. Captain America, all the main guys. Uh, Sarah Day McDougal, I love you, Sarah Day McDougal, but. Uh, we're in the middle of this, and she said, and it's just after No Way Home, and she says, "I'm going to pick Peter Parker." And everybody, this was is like, just after who? Doctor Strange's spell that oh. made everyone in the universe forget who Peter Parker everyone was. Everyone in all universes. So she's trying to play this like money ball game. We're like, he's going to get mentioned. He's a pretty big name, Spider Man, and we're like, or she said Peter Parker, and we went, who? Who? <laughs> We also and then she, you see, like the the dread just wash over her. <laughs> now she remembers like, Peter Parker. Oh no! Lot, and it was like pick number. It was really high on her picks too. Yeah, like, it was a really terrible play. And I don't know why, but that one sticks with me. It's like it's probably not my favorite moment, but it's the one that pops to mind. Hmm. I should have planned this. I had the questions. Yeah, you had. They're on your phone. This was a this was a Twitch question. Also You're fine. on your phone. Oh. What's your Did favorite I have, moment, Hefe? I didn't have. Sure. Uh, sure. Sure. I want to save some time for the people in the room, but yes. Absolutely, absolutely. One more here. We've got uh, Courtney O'Brien who asked. So we talked a little bit about the future of the MCU. But she it's Courtney. Know. It's Courtney. That's right. What's your absolute favorite on-screen MCU moment, film or TV? Oh, it's that hard. Bring me Thanos! I'm first, so I can steal it. Every I time. It from my mouth. Every time. <laughs> Thor entering Wakanda makes me so happy. Oh man, I have Very chills happy. right now thinking, thinking about, about it. it. Yep. yep, it is in this moment. It is divided, and I'm just realizing Captain America might be my favorite character. I mean, because you, you just realizing that? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but because my two my two later. favorite moments that pop to mind immediately. <laughs> oh, we're doing two. Okay. Are yeah, this is just it's a balance a between these two, and it's kind of the same moment. Yeah. Are they perfectly balanced? Is when he jumps as all things should be. <laughs> um. Is when he jumps on the grenade. Jumps that's on the one grenade. of my favorite oh, moments in one. all movies, honestly. And then when he is standing before Thanos with half a shield, and we like were talking everyone about that else is down, the portal is just yeah. like just before the portals yeah. come up. Ripped arm. His yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't think shot. about that scene without getting a little emotional. Like with the 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 lights coming down yep. through the through the clouds and <laughs> the army of Thanos coming from yep. the right. A million members of the army of Thanos marching towards him and he's just alone with half of his shield <laughs> and he tightens his arm he's like I still I could do this all day I'm yep. planting myself like a tree I'm and I'm gonna yeah. not cry in front of all these people live it's, it's I'll take more it embarrassing over. Life. um piggybacking <laughs> off of Captain America I will say that probably besides Thor my favorite MCU moment is the entire causeway scene of Captain America mm, Civil War yes. and when the knife yeah. fight Wait, between Buck yeah oh, oh the yeah, flip gonna... the knife flips the knife flips Every mm -hmm. the knife khaki flip pants moment. that don't rip. 
why didn't they rip? <laughs> you really you just wanted them to rip. It's too late. I've seen everything. <laughs> it's too late. I've seen everything. Yeah, now Bring Me Thanos is hard and fast, my absolute favorite. Okay. Very close second, though, also Thor, uh, when he smashes the cup and he's like, another! Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just oh, want to do that in your daily that life. On the podcast today that you weren't there for. Matt. Cool. I'm yeah. upset. Yeah. I, I quit. Was... We were, yeah. we were drinking and talking about Z-Biotics, our sponsor. Oh, like, we were talking about another. Going on the ground. Yeah. No, that's, I, I support this. I support yeah. this. Good, good, good. I uh, don't quit. I okay. unquit. So, I'm back. Ghost of Christmas past has, has, has passed. passed. <laughs> and Ghost of right I keep using the same words. Uh, so, present. What do you guys think of the current state of the MCU? Uh, not looking forward. We got. We were to talk about that. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of new, not a news. A lot of rumors. A lot of movies on the slate. But what right now? Like phases four and five. A lot of people think it's a rough patch. I think, I we think even, we're in a good place right now. I, I might be a little biased better. because I cannot wait for Agatha. Oh, that yeah. is going to be probably one of my favorite That's shows. The future, on Disney Plus. Oh, it's not. It's like two weeks. It's two weeks. It's the future. God damn it! I don't tell that to time travel. Listen, I'm from the multiverse, okay? It's all relative. It's all relative. So, <sighs> there. That Agatha this that you saw like. earlier today was amazing. Oh, yes, she was great. Oh, yeah. yeah. At Dragon Con, we, they saw it. I saw it in a picture because, yeah, I wasn't there. Uh, but in all great scale, Agatha. Agatha. Black and white Agatha. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it's so good. And so it, good. it was a, a drag. Costume, oh, right? yeah, so, yeah, so, like we keep calling it Dragatha, and, and he loved that, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. love it. Oh, yeah. love it. The, the current state is yeah. current state phases I four feel and like five. That's a trick question because, like, like, okay, ooh. Deadpool and Wolverine kind of brought us all back to living. Well, like, Multiverse of Madness, WandaVision, oh, my favorite, and you know, the, the Loki series, like, there have mm -hmm. been such bangers with four and five. But then there's stuff like Secret Invasion. <clears throat> yep, that, the worst um, thing. The worst. We don't talk about <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not the worst thing. Not the worst thing. <laughs> I've been saying that, but Inhumans exists. It does. It's like it has the, some of the same so, problems without the redeeming quality of amazing <laughs> actors. You know what I mean? Very curious. The, wait, they're you fine. said Inhumans. They're good. Inhumans. 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 The series. Yeah, that's not MCU canon. I. You left it out. Black Bolt. Black oh, Bolt was yeah, in they brought Anson Mount Mount back Jason in. Scotty. They brought Anson Mount back. Captain Pike was there. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I had something in my throat. It was gross. Um, yeah, no, in humans was real bad. But, like, uh, there have been things where they have done such great setup and then, like, took a turn, like Secret Invasion did. Or, um, like Miss Marvel had such promise in the first two episodes where it's like, that's me. That's me in high school on screen right there. <laughs> um, without the culture, you know, that I, I don't have. As You're a little fan. girl. We get it. Jeff. I was yeah. a young Pakistani I'm, I'm girl. I'm a young Pakistani girl at heart. That's <laughs> fine. But like, She's you know. She's like an ADHD Marvel podcaster, though. Yeah, that's just very like, much what we all are. We literally <laughs> opened the series on her doing podcasting. To no one. <laughs> we have like paper all YouTubing, but same thing. Same thing. same thing. But like such promise, right? Like we get this awesome character and then it took a weird turn and it went too hard into being like crazy superhero stuff. And they tried to bring it back. Sorry. Uh, they tried to bring it back. And like, you know, in the last episode, they gave us that whole like chalkboard plan where she yeah. had dri drawn everything out and they'll get that was good it was a good like if they had which is what we've that. been doing for a very long time right put it on God. the board put it on the put board put it on the board i'm the when board. wandavision came out we convinced everybody that mephisto was going to be in it it's and the hate still. mail we got when mephisto did not show up was phenomenal and that's and they they were mephisto. Like so mad at us and this is why you they have said, so much coat Copium over there, where they're like, mm -hmm. he was there. He was he there. He was the was stork. There. He said it. Most of just watch when they retcon everything. You'll think it's a retcon. No, I knew <laughs> all along. <laughs> Mephisto, all along. He's yeah. coming. That the whole be, time. Oh, I hope He's been here the whole time. A parody Mephisto all along. Agatha. <laughs> that would be. Yeah. That would vindicate so many, 
sad YouTube and podcasters, YouTubers and podcasters. Yeah. No offense, I called you sad. No, He's you sad you tried to call me sad, and I rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Where do, where do you think we are right now? With the because uh, we're in kind of a tenuous spot, I feel. I, I, yeah, obviously, the narrative is that Marvel has had a dip as of late. I think that like, but with Shang Chi, so good. Yeah, Shang Chi was Where's amazing. Where's that spin-off series? <laughs> yeah, Where's that, that, that they promised that us. What, <laughs> that is what I'm getting at. Like, I think that there's not. I don't think the quality levels of Marvel have been worse. I really don't. I think in in, in some ways they've been higher. Uh, there have even been some really great connectivity here and there, like Multiverse of Madness. Well, I see that. Mm, I want to take it back immediately because of the characterization that feels like it's shifting to without purpose, too much without purpose. But I think that like most of the quality has been high. I really do feel that way. Um, there's very few properties that I'm upset with and if you look back at what was going on in the previous phases the tv shows they had their ups and downs the movies they have their ups and downs it's just that they did a better job of crafting a narrative that was pushing the mcu forward and endgame and infinity war were coming and thanos was coming uh, winter no winter wasn't coming that was a different thing it was i'm but, not gonna you know. make any comments there's <laughs> so many coming. jokes loaded i'm like nope <laughs> but we got john snow we did yeah. that snow, with sword and all um, that never showed up again. Let's that, and that's what I'm getting all. at to, to make the best resegue in the world. Uh, <laughs> You're bringing they, it back when Marvel hasn't introduced so wow. many things. That was better. Damn it, Jeff. Damn wow. it. Sorry. What can I say? Dang, wow. it, Jeff. Dang it. Nine o'clock. Um, <laughs> that is, that is the thing. I think it's been a really good phase with lots of great stuff, but both phases. There's lots of properties that are so much fun. They have not built on each other. They've not yeah. had yeah. a good plan. That's the, and the hot, wet continuity is not Nothing's there. gone through the loom and come back yeah. together. Not nothing. We have had, like I said, Multiverse of Madness. Sure. Uh, sure. I mean, No Way Home is one of the best, Ooh, yeah. best property, best like yeah. MCU things. Like it's great. So since Endgame, they've had great stuff. Shang Chi's amazing. Uh, Moon Knight's amazing. Oh. Uh, Wand Division's amazing. It's incredible. I, I love so much of it, but they have not crafted it all together in a way that feels like it's moving forward. And the, and it's not all their fault. Yeah, I think been I outside like... problems with like you know heading for Kang. Yeah, and the Ugh, that was Major such problems. A Even for us to navigate the Kang thing was like. Yeah, what do we do? What do we say? What's coming future? up? Like, yeah. what's coming? We can't even guess what's coming. And As we're going to get to the future. And I had no idea what they were going to pull out. Marvel really was like, you know what? Robert Downey Jr., boom. We yeah. kept putting out like an <laughs> algorithm of just like, if the allegations go through, then no, this was yeah. bad. We don't want him. Yeah. <laughs> but like, if it turns out that he didn't do that thing, then yeah, this was great. It's we, a very yeah. good Kang. It well, was, and it's like, that's the thing. It, his portrayal of Kang was amazing. It's one of my favorite yeah. things. Loki season one, episode six. Is that six. Right? So menacing. Yeah. It's so good. It's one of my favorite things. When he from the moment he opens the elevator and you realize it's Kang, as someone who's watching the news and paying attention, it's amazing. And his performance is amazing. It's completely unexpected. Yeah, it, we didn't know that he was going to be there in well, that episode. I don't mean I that. That's I mean, the thing that surprises the, the way most. he chose to play it. Yeah, it's so like, unexpected. Sure. I'm a cool guy. He's so flippant and fun and like quirky. I sit on and, like, desks. Uh, <laughs> impish. Like he's so good. He ate an apple. He but ate an that's... apple. And we know what that means. We know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, the character's an asshole. Oh. Yeah. That's that's what always happens. You, it's a, the character it's a, like, eats an apple the and they're an asshole. Good and evil, blah, 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 she got us out of the But he played it amazingly and I love it. But then all those allegations come out, and then we deal with it for a year where we don't know what's happening, and we don't. And then Marvel. It's hard to do a podcast thing. when you have no idea what the future is, because Marvel, like when they first came out, they gave us that like, here's Doctor Strange and this and that, and we're all leading up to Endgame, and then yeah. after that, it was just kind of like, maybe this will happen, right. maybe this will happen. Yeah. We didn't have that panel of movies coming out like we did before, and then we just have to kind of guess what's going to happen. When you look at phases <laughs> one through three. You have the first movie ending. Yeah, it was the first movie. For a second, I thought Hulk was first, and that's just not true. No, they came out a month apart. Yeah, they came out. That's why I was a little confused. Uh, you have the first movie saying Avengers Initiative. And from that moment, you are looking towards Avengers. 
and Avengers comes out, and from that moment, you're looking toward Thanos. Yep. And that's, that's the God. thing. You have just even just those three markers put you in a place where you're like always looking for something. Yeah. And because of the background problems and because of COVID problems and everything else and shakeups and strikes, they don't we don't know what we're looking for. And I feel like that really does impact um our ability to enjoy these standalone properties when we're spoiled as heck. So spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> we used to get two to three movies a year. That's the that's the thing that, that I keep coming back to is like phase four by itself has more time, like more screen time, more content than the other three phases combined. So like we have had a lot of time in front of a screen being like, okay, this is leading to something at some point. Do you remember when end credit scenes used to matter? <laughs> do you remember when it used to lead into the next movie? So well, I do. Like uh, uh, Spider-Man, which one is it? The cap that shows up at the end. That's the second one or the first one? That was Homecoming. homecoming. The first homecoming. Thank you. It's a so you waited around. Yeah, Jay Scotty, say Claire. That's why with you're the here, answer. baby. Woo! <laughs> Uh, that is <laughs> it's very loud. No, no, that no. is a moment where, like, we were all a little like, "Hey, that's funny that they made a post credit sequence, but it didn't matter." And then it got less and less funny. Yeah. That's as funny. they went on doing that, where these post credit sequences that don't matter, and they re literally make them jokes when they oh. used to be like uh, teasers, like, like, like real Ant Man and the Wasp driving us forward. That's why I appreciate and the end the of yeah. uh, Ma uh, Multiverse of Madness. When he's like, why are you still here? You, you're just like Bruce Campbell at the end. Yeah. The cutscene was like, you guys are just stayed for nothing. Right. Bye. Well, and that's the thing. <laughs> that's the same joke. But when it used to matter, it was so exciting. Like, well, yeah. Guardians, we just are doing our rewatch now. And uh, Thor's cutscene leading into Guardians and Benicio Del Toro as the collector. Like, it was so cool. To be able to put the movies like and when you get to see the twins for the first time before mm. ultron at the end of that cut scene yep. you're just like oh it gets you so pumped and it makes waiting that nine minutes after the credits were worth it <laughs> yeah. you're just sitting there and it gives you something <laughs> to look forward to for the next property yes or a property or two down the road like it it gives you something to talk about mm -hmm. like the people who didn't know like you know you've got the the random people that like water cooler talk at the office that are like who were those people in the prison cell mm -hmm. at the end of that? I'm like, oh, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. me I hope you have 15 I have this minutes right now. <laughs> I, have <laughs> found my, I have found myself performing an MCU podcast to so many random groups of like non deeper fans. Yeah, like they, they'll come, they'll like start talking about it. The at dirty night. casuals. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're gonna get us in trouble again. Uh, we don't mean that in any offensive way. Dirty casuals is the main thing. I do. Uh, I do. <laughs> you do. Uh, the more casual fans. Honestly, so, this is the place. To, they call themselves that. They self-named themselves that. It was fine. A dirty with it. casual. Like it's okay here. This is the safe space to call them dirty casuals. What? What? Oh, you guys like you no, filthy. Sorry, filthy, just like okay. my dirty martinis. Filthy. Maybe it's filthy. That's what I mean. I think that might be the term. Don't I think you just don't like the term because you're more business-minded. You're just you're trying to be the peacemaker, not like John Cena, but like stop talking peace. about yeah. DC. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> bring it back for the casual fans. Uh, I've I've found myself in so many situations where I'm like at a gig, I'm playing at a wedding, and like the the the, the, question. the groom party will come through, and they'll start talking about Marvel, and then I'll end up like, well, that's kind of true. It's actually because of this post credit sequence <laughs> over here, and then I suddenly like have them sitting like cross-legged in front of me and I'm like teaching them on a whiteboard about <laughs> well you see you didn't pay attention over here when you watched Iron Man this guy was mentioned and he led to this and over there and, yeah. and like I've this is actually well you find that people come up and they're like oh you do but what's your favorite Marvel movie I'm like sit down because I don't know how to do this <laughs> and we're gonna go through that. why all of these ones are my top tier and then second tier but then they yep. switch depending on my mood yep. you know and depending on what music I want to listen to at the time mm. boom boom boom, boom. Like not, if even, I'm happy. not even that but like just hey. the score if i'm having a bad day i need that that henry jackson what? winter soldier soundtrack yep. yep if i want to be uplifted like give me that uh that alan silvestri captain america oh, mm -hmm. so good. just like oh oh y'all mean like score stuff that's why That's why i wasn't sorry. on that episode sorry. i'm like a, we're I'm big a in soundtrack guy. scores here i'm a song guy you know i care about songs. Okay. okay but the, yeah. the the thing that makes you feel is Alan Silvestri doing that. Mm -hmm. The thing that makes me feel is Captain America on the grenade, just like 
Go, go back. Get back up. I'll make you cry. We can start talking about Guardians again, and I'll make you cry again. Oh, you will. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I cried in the car I today. I, uh, I cry at action scenes. I'm like crazy. Like when Deadpool and Wolverine walked out for the first time to fight all those Deadpools, I call it flicked in the nose. And it's like I get so overwhelmed by my emotions about what's happening. It feels like someone flicked me in my nose and my eyes water. And yep. I'm like, I'm crying yep. at this. I, Not real I don't thing. know why. My or eyes when are a leaking. CGI raccoon cries. Like I cry. Oh the, my God. My husband will not watch Guardians of the Galaxy 3 with me because at the movie theater, within 10 minutes, I started crying and I didn't. You were there, girl. We didn't stop <laughs> crying for the entire movie. I had a really hard time with it, but yeah. I love it yep. so much. Like that movie yeah. was very important, but I That's cried your... the whole time. <laughs> That's your love of animals and your hatred of, you know, people. Yeah, uh, that's true. But but also people that hurt animals. I was going to say people that hurt animals, but I realized I could just stop at people. And, that's yeah, true. At least little people. Shh, like, don't tell them. The like children. children. Mostly <laughs> children. I mean, no children. Not, <laughs> sorry. It's the children that Ashley hates. So future. Future. Ghost of Christmas. The Ghost of Christmas future. future. Uh, yeah. We've got a few things announced. The biggest of them, the craziest of them, being RDJ as Doom. Our Doom J. Our Doom J. Hail Mary, as it Which, seems like. I haven't called you out for this yet. Me? Do you. it. Do it now in front of all of these people. In front of all these people. <laughs> in our document, she wrote like our categories of, of like what our, what people are writing in about. So we can stick to a category on an episode. She wrote Doom DJ. I like that better than RDJ. Our Doom J. No, Doom it's DJ. It's a D in the middle. Tomato, tomato. I do what I want to do. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. I told you she was going to react like that. We also have a thing we haven't, uh, most of you in the room haven't heard this episode yet, but we talked about it today on an episode about how there's a Spider Man 4 rumor saying it's going to be a multiverse movie, uh, which is interesting given how they ended the last one. Oh, um, street level. Yeah, people oh. want street level and. It seems like Sony is getting their way and maybe wanting to do a, mul a more multiverse type movie. Uh, we've got Doomsday coming, Fantastic Four First Steps. Woo! So I'm so excited! Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, uh, they got the. How nervous must Marvel be? I mean, Fantastic Four has been done a couple times, and it's oof. been what it is. This is a huge deal, and you cannot mess it up. Mm -hmm. You can't. The casting is very good. They were like, yes. we're going to play it safe. The same way I feel like they're doing with RDJ. But like, everybody loves Pedro Pascal. Let's yep. put him in there. Yep. And I wanted to hate it, but I don't because I love him. And Vanessa Kirby. And then they got Joseph Quinn from um, Stranger, Things. Stranger Things. And mm -hmm. then Micro. Micro. Me, from Punisher. <laughs> What's his name, everybody? Micro. Yeah. Evan Musbach. Yeah, and it's like it's an interesting cast of people, but everybody kind of likes all of those people. So we'll see. Like they're they, safe casting They places. have to be... The story needs to be there. You can cast it as well as you want, but if your story's not there, your movie's yeah. not there. Yeah, I think they're safe, but they're great. Yeah. They're great. I think the biggest problem, and I've said it on the cast before, is the fact that like we don't have a core team right now that the audience, the wider yeah. audience, I think there's there's a lot of people in this room, and there's a lot of people that like are listening to this that love a lot of the properties they've put out, and they want to see what's coming next with Miss Marvel and they want to see what's coming next with Moon Knight and they want to see what's coming next with somebody else say a word. Yelena. Yelena. Uh, <laughs> Thunderbolts. Woo, Bucky yeah. baby. So yeah. many things we want to see what comes next. Yep. But. I mean, I read Hulk. Oh, Red Hulk. Give me that Harrison Red Hulk. Ford. I can't wait to see how he steps into the role. Yeah. But I think since we've lost our main, our main two, I think the two people that really carried the universe for a while being okay. Cap and Tony, uh, since they're not involved anymore, it really feels like kind of aimless. Aimless, and yeah. it feels like it's not even necessarily aimless. It's that there's no well, it's aimless for those all those other things we talked about earlier. But it feels like there's not a team to root for. And there's not a captain at the helm. Yes, and, and the next well, there's about to be. We're gonna get a, a Sam Wilson Cap, and I'm very yes. excited for new one. I'm interested to see him in that role, and I, just from the trailers, I'm like. Okay, I'll follow you to battle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 100%. I can't wait to see the new technology that he yeah. has because I was my husband has the thing like, how can you just fly around and go through those things? He's just a dude. I'm like, no, <laughs> he's got Wakanda tech for sure, right? Like yeah, he's got Tony yeah. Stark tech. Like he is yeah, doing all just, the like, things. It is a soup. Can't just up break the sound barrier like Falcon that America. without some sort of tech. <laughs> yeah. I think he's gonna have to have a more complicated suit for sure. Yeah. And there's also they've been clear that he does not have the serum yeah he's or any kind of serum no. At no i the think he's beginning he of the it. movie like that was very stated so i'm wondering if we're gonna get right in uh something different 
immediately. Which I'm down. I mean, if, do if Cap wants, uh, or if, you know, if they want to give Sam Wilson the powers of Captain I do America, like that he great. grounds it, though, because he's just yeah. one of us. Yeah, 100%. But so cool. my point is, I don't think we have something that, like, one of the things that's beautiful about the MCU is that so many people love it. And you can talk, just like I talked about earlier, where, like, random people at a wedding walk up to me and we end up starting talking about the MCU and we I hold court talking about whatever. <laughs> um, gather that, round, children. Gather, gather round. round. Let me tell you of Tony Stark and his wonderful you Pull machines. out your binder. Yeah. Uh, I, but one of the things is it's having that shared mythology among so many people. You can talk Ooh. to your parents about how much they like Tony Stark or Captain America or whatever. Yeah. You can talk to your uh, kids and your parents, like at the same time, uh, and it's, it's just it's just nice to have that shared mythology. And I think right now we don't have a team that has the broad appeal, and I think that's what they need. This this that's the Fantastic Four has to hit. I really think they need Spider Man to either get out of the hands of Sony or get a solid deal with Sony. Like, give it up, Sony. I'm going to go down there myself. Yeah. Go and down give there. them some business. Like, let it go. Let it go. They'll pay. Let it go. They'll pay. Take they a got bill. The let it go money. Let it go. Disney, how money. yacht? Does, how big does your yacht need to be, Disney? Yeah. Pay for Spider-Man and let's go. Yeah. It really would. Like, them getting Spider-Man the full rights <laughs> would be a thing that would propel them into the future and give us a main character root for because of these like legal issues we just don't have we just don't have a thing to push for a, a character that everyone can get behind yeah. there's a lot of just like breaking up with the fans of like i love this and that's part of the strategy is what when they made all these disney plus shows part of the strategy is make something for everyone that's more specific yeah werewolf by night is not for everybody <laughs> i love it it's it, definitely for her WandaVision wasn't for everybody. It's like every, a lot of people's favorite. So and funny. then it's a lot of people's like, I couldn't get through three episodes of like old TV. Like, I don't care about that. It just didn't get didn't get there. Um, <laughs> that face. That face is how I feel about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said you couldn't get, excuse you? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, those are the, I don't even talk to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. can't be my friend. You talk no, about thank you. Yeah. I'm all friended up over here. Not you. <laughs> yeah. Don't need any more. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> That is the, the haters like that in my life. I think like, that yeah. is the rub. I think we need a team that everyone can get behind and continue to have these stories that are meant for smaller audiences. 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 Well, we have the uh, Young Avengers, but obviously coming soon because yes. Kate Bishop and Miss Marvel met up, which well, we yep. have not gotten back to yet. And that's the beauty of a connected universe and an Avengers movie because if you're only into one of the Avengers, if you're a Hulk, fan and that's your kind of movie if you're a tony stark fan it's your kind of movie if you're then they bring them together and everyone gets a chance to they follow their thing that they love but everything is part of it yeah and i feel like because of that lack of connectivity we've got in this phase and the lack of leading towards a big crossover um we don't we just don't have the kind of team that comes together young avengers is coming i think um Theoretically. We'll yeah. see what happens. Thunderbolt is, really cool. is Wiccan. No, if Wiccan is Wiccan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we do want to move to any questions in the room. We were so happy. So so many people showed up. Uh, and, and and some of you guys are from the show. It really means a lot. Drop it. Fall. Yeah. Come to the mic. Uh -oh. oh, the mic is off. So I came in a little bit late. You did an introduction. Which one of you is Jason? Which one, David? Um, Ouch. Oh, you mean Tim? <laughs> this is Tim. This is Tim. Would you prefer to say that uh, DC is going to give you your start? Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. I, yeah. Dave Robinson cool. is the reason that I do podcasting. Oh. That's the reason we all do podcasting. Yeah, Dave and Jason, they, they, they started it all. They're the first podcast. <laughs> the first podcast. <laughs> That's That's right. Right. Oh, absolutely. Um, but would you ever, when you started, did you ever think you were going to get Tim? No, not at all. I mean, like, I have a habit of not giving things up that I probably should. Uh, so, like, you know, a real once, blow I to the ego. once I start something, I tend to just keep rolling on. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, he asked, uh, did we ever think we would go 10 years? And he also uh, talked about uh, Jason and Dave. We can leave on screen. <laughs> We, we can leave that, that talk out of the podcast. We don't need it. That's I'm DC kidding. stuff. We don't talk about that here. 
Uh, man. Uh, but absolutely not. I definitely never thought we'd make it 10 years. I didn't, I wouldn't have thought of that. Really, we started the podcast on a complete lark uh, as just like something fun. To, I play music for a living, uh, which is a fun job. But when you do it for a living, it becomes a job. Uh, and so I found myself like in this place where I was like, I'm playing music, but it's not my creative outlet. So I started podcasting as a pure like, this is just for fun. Me and Jeff are going to talk about Marvel once a week. And uh, and I just listened to a lot of Marvel podcasts because I love the stuff. And I wasn't really happy with what I was hearing out in the world. Yeah. So we started our own. I would be so frustrated with people. They're talking about it. They just don't know the basic facts. The basic facts <laughs> right. of what happened in the movie. They're just so, wrong. They're speculating. And they're like, no, you didn't pay attention to the line in the fourth scene where the guy said this thing in the background. The arguments. Yep. The arguments. The I'm arguments. Sure people Everyone the around me got us. so tired of hearing me talk about it. I was so excited to found an outlet that I could like really just kind of be myself and yeah, really get into sure. it with people Absolutely. who understood. And having our listeners write in is yeah. so fun because our feedback episodes are so full it and is. it keeps the conversation going. The document never empties. Like we try so hard to get through it. Mm -hmm. And especially if I'm on those episodes, Bullshit. like we, <laughs> we get so far afield because oh, yeah. I am the chaos. When you're on an episode, <laughs> we only make it through like three feedbacks. Because me and you just go on. Go off. Yeah, we go on, on a few tangents. I'm a chaos. Me and Ashley, me and Ashley can make it do it. Make it do some feedback. We're we professional. We just, You're boom, a sidewinder. Boom, boom. <laughs> Your yeah. question is answered. I'm used to it. Like, Let's go. Everybody wants to hear their stuff. Like, everybody who's writing in wants to hear their stuff. And I want to ever get back to it. This one. They want a voice. It's like, what if And I'm like, they want to talk about it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, so oh, oh, young man. You yes. Oh, uh, hi. Long time listener. Uh, <laughs> I, so that the podcast, uh, 25 years of the MCU have been made. Um, sure. Is there a character no. that I want to hear from each one of you? Is there a character who has not come into the MCU yet that you would want to see? From the previous 25 years or from like comics and everything? Um, yeah. Are we talking from, from Fox? All of Marvel history. The question was, uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, the question was, uh, is there is there a, a character we want to see come into the MCU from the comics or or what? All of the X Men. All of the uh, X Men. Yeah, that is that is the answer. I need my Jean Grey. I need my Rogue. I need Jubilee. Oh, there's guys on X Men. Oh yeah, I mean, I need <laughs> I, I need Psylocke. Cyclops to be Glenn Powell, and I need to keep moving forward. Like they need, like we got a little bit of it. We got to see Beast when they had the the thing at the end of Miss yep. Marvel, which was very exciting. And then with Deadpool and Wolverine, but I'm really excited to see now that we have the rights back. We, because I'm part of Marvel, uh, now that Marvel <laughs> has the rights back, I cannot wait to see what like the future is for X Men because X Men is my thing, and I'm excited we're doing Fantastic Four first because I think they really need to take their time. The casting needs to be perfect. The reasoning that the characters are there. Now that, that I feel like they did the entire multiverse saga so that they could bring the X-Men in because it doesn't yeah. make any sense that they haven't been here the whole time. Like they wouldn't just ignore the Thanos stuff or the secret invasion or anything that was going on. So multiverse was their reason to bring in the X-Men. And I just yeah. can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. I I like uh Sentry from mm. from yeah, comics. A Sentry's a, a really fun character, Robert Reynolds being like that kind of like, what if Superman had a really bad dark side? And, um, that is really you know, cool. his origin being like, you know, I took a lot of drugs dead and got this way. Dead parents? Um, no, not, not dead wow, parents. Wow, shocking. I mean, probably dead parents. He it's was, you know, they're but like, it's Disney. <laughs> How can there not be dead parents? Fasta. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's probably, I mean, there's dead parents. Everybody's got dead people. <laughs> No excuse to make everyone else that along the way. Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> oh, boo hoo. Yeah. yeah. Now you're making me kick grass. Eat up. We're so all good. standing up now. Yep. Bunch of assholes. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, Robert Reynolds would be so fun, especially like looking back on the comic Siege. I keep I keep talking about Siege every, mm. yeah. every time I get a chance to, but like there's that one spread where he has Ares by the throat and the leg and grips him in half. Ares, the god oh, yeah, of didn't war. Didn't they introduce him randomly and we haven't come back to that yet either? I don't know, that was Hercules. Oh, that was Hercules. Yeah. yeah. And then Stephen, Stephen Yuen was going to be uh, Sentry. Was going to be Sentry. That's Pullman. Thank Lewis you. Pullman? Thank you, Jay Scotty. Louis Pullman. <laughs> so I'm looking Guy in the chair. Guy in the chair. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That, mm -hmm. one's my, that one's my look forward. 
What about you? Man, as as with maybe, all your comics knowledge, as maybe no, I'm not a comics guy as much as I am. Like we, the the reason we do the Marvel Cinematic Universe podcast and not the Marvel deep dive comics show is because we make a because show for MDDC people who watch movies. You is um, bad. What is it? Because MDDC you is bad. Marvel deep dive comics universe. Oh, gotcha. Show? Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It's a terrible acronym. Um, but I, I yeah. I, so I don't, I don't. I'm not a big Marvel comics guy, so I don't have the deep knowledge to really even pick a good character. I do want the X Men in. And those yeah. are my those are my like characters, and I do want all the freaking Sony characters back. Like I think, but the fact that Spider Man is around and can't just have his rogues gallery, and they're making yeah. they're making Craven movies and Venom movies, and I want the I want those back. Yeah, I'm totally watching Craven for the plot. <laughs> <laughs> did you see his abs? <laughs> mm -hmm. I did. You got another question here? Okay, so with. No, go yeah, go yeah. ahead. It's okay. Here, I will look at you. I love that question. First of all, that is a fantastic question. question. And I really do. I actually do think that that might be why they picked Pedro Pascal because they realized that To repeat the he... question into the microphone for the recording. Talking yeah, over sorry. The I think the microphone over there isn't working as well. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, good. Is the, is with Fantastic Four coming up and Secret Wars, is Reed Richards going to be the leader of the team and is Pedro Pascal strong enough to carry that upon his mighty shoulders? As long as we don't talk about Wonder Woman too, I do think that he is strong <laughs> enough to carry it on. Why you gotta do that, Pedro? Why do you gotta do that? Pedro, Pedro chose Pedro to act the way he did in that yeah. movie. That was not, uh, yeah, but no, the director I, did that. <laughs> I do think that he's strong enough. I think he is, he's our new, uh, uh, you know, geek movie daddy. I, uh, daddy. I think he could do the geek movie daddy thing. I think that there's going to be some conflict between him and like Doctor Strange. Yeah, I think the two of like them, they both have gray streaks. Right? Yes, because they they're going to be like, <laughs> I have more gray streaks. I down. should be the leader. Clearly, I'm a better daddy figure, mm -hmm. and everybody here needs a daddy figure. Yeah, I, I it's it's interesting because all of Marvel's best characters, all the all these leaders are also their worst monsters. And yeah. I think that like Reed Richards has that same potential. And I, I, I'm interested to see it because I, I love Pedro Pascal in so many different things and his catalog of stuff is so diverse, you know? Yeah. I think about him like playing uh, in Game of Thrones. Oh, Oberyn Tyrell, there yeah, is no better. Just such, oh. a, such a great charismatic character. Then you compare that to Joel in The Last of Us and it's such a different character. Yeah. And so, I don't know what he's going to do with Reed Richards. I really don't. But I think he is uh, positioned to be whatever they need they need him to be. I think he's going to be great. I, I really I, I really think he can carry it. But a lot of uh, reports have said that um, Vanessa Kirby and Invisible Woman is actually more the focus of that first. I episode. love that. Susan, Sue Storm is such a strong character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll give well, me a then, chance to have her fall in love with Namor. Uh, Namor, right? who, oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of forever. Gosh. Good, good God. Yeah, I can't believe Namor hasn't come back either, man. Well, I, that's, uh, we, let, we have a lot Namor. of strings out what? that just need to be tied in together, and I feel like we'll get there. We need the loom. We need the loom. I think. Totally need the loom. We got a few more minutes. I kind of want to make a big swing real quick. Oh, I kind of want to make a big swing real quick. I think there's going to be there's going to be competition for the role of leader between Doctor Strange and uh, Reed Richards, mm. and they're going to go to war, kind of, with each other, and a civil war, a uh, secret war. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I think that the leader that's going to emerge from all of that is going to be Sam Wilson, because they need a character that. with heart, yeah, an actual human person with heart to be the leader of this super team. I've kind of yeah. felt like that this whole time. Mm -hmm. Like the person who's going to bring the teams together is going to be Sam Wilson, which yep. is why I'm so excited for New Order. That's yeah. not what it's called anymore, right? Brave New World. That's Brave it. New World. <laughs> they keep changing the name. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> Agatha all along. Her Coven of Cut. Huh? Yeah, sure. Uh, throw it out. And if we Last question. Guys, we, got, we got time for one or two more. 
this is an appropriate one coming from Jess Kamai. Hey, hey asks, Jess. What future MC property are y'all most excited for to, or to most excited to cover in the next 10 years? In the next 10 years? Oh, I'm mm. X-Men. X-Men's yeah. coming within the next 10 years and I will shine. <laughs> My Marvel knowledge. She was built was, for this. I was yep. made for She's this. She's been preparing for, for this all her life. Girl, yes. Oh, yeah. oh. Yep. Oh. Yes. Pivot yep. to X Men now. And that's, I think, that uh, what she said was that uh, they should have pivoted directly to X Men after Endgame. And I think it's a great idea, but I don't think they own the rights yet. It was like just right after that they got the rights, and then they got to start writing and building the next thing. And I still think, yeah, they, yeah, they should have been bringing of, it up a lot more. A lot happens. of the Marvel, um, a lot of the Marvel road has been littered with like properties that are missing from the, the comics universe. Uh, if you've been following Marvel for longer and like, you know, we all watched like cartoons growing up and the fact that they can all touch each other um, mm -hmm. is important. Uh, what? Like, I, I mean like be in each other's things. No, that's not better. <laughs> that's not better. Pivot. Uh, they can, they can, Pivot. they can all. So X-Men. They all exist in the same multiverse. Better? Yeah, they all exist in the same universe and that's, that's the thing. And like, because of these rights issues, they haven't had that. They've done a great job with what they have. I mean, if you think about Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk, Hulk probably being the exception, um, they just there wasn't a lot of interest in those characters at the time, 2008. And those have become the premier characters for whatever, 10, 10 or 15 years of the thing. Yeah, like and now an with Avengers movie, you write a check. Ant-Man, <laughs> Doctor Strange, all these characters. They've... They've done amazing jobs with the B team, but that's part of the problem. Something that me and uh, bringing up, going back to Charles McFall's question, the DC on screen guys, one of the things we talk about sometimes with them uh, is part of the reason the DC universe is hard to make is because every head has expectations of Superman and Batman. You know, like when you make a movie about Iron Man, the vast audience has no expectation. The geeks do, but the vast audience has no expectation. Uh, we all have expectations of every character that's big that's left. You know, all these yeah. X-Men, we all have expectations. Yep. So can the MCU move into the future, making movies about Fantastic Four, X-Men, all the Sony characters that have real expectations, things we've seen, versions that we can compare them to? Can we move forward into that, into the, into the future? The future. I think the future's bright. I think so too. We have Daredevil mm -hmm. coming out soon. Oh, yeah. Use Daredevil more. That's the thing I want to say on the for the MCU. Use Daredevil more. Oh, I want the everything. Daredevil Spider Man. That's the movie. That's I don't want is. another multiverse Spider Man movie. Yep. I would it like is. that. Yep. And that is my closing statement. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's about that time uh, that we shut it down. Thank you so much for coming. Thank guys. you guys Thank you, so much. So much. <laughs> It really. Ten years. Four point five. Ten years. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep doing this for another ten and lots of lots of stuff to come. Peace. Until next time, true believers. Bye. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da. <laughs>